pixels. Like it, it felt like that when we were watching our previous series, right? Where where you know that first map, if either of the pistols go against them, it's a two zero the other way. That there were a couple of those moments. Didn't have that sense here on Asian. Yeah, I think it was largely because sometimes they were they'd run out of money, they'd come back and they'd come with those adjustments as soon as uh, as soon as possible. So I, I just think that that's something that can really show a testament to uh, a roster's capability. It's that they're, they've stabilized, they've figured out adjustments, they've figured out ways to work around the, the offense live in a game, which is not an easy thing to do for a team that uh, maybe lacks a little bit of experience here. But that's what we've seen so far versus a team like MCAL, which is just already impressive here. And they get to start Ooh. off with a pistol well. A nice little opening pick there. Obviously, like you said, though, MCAL now in their domain. This is... Uh, this is not an easy map to close out this team on. And so I think this could be the start of where we start to see this roster come back into form here in this uh, series. It's the classic 2-1-2 on the defense. Getting uh, the, the first pick makes that a whole lot easier. Uh, ooh, wow. Leaker wants to set the flashbang for his teammates ooh. on B, but that actually caught... What? <laughs> Con? What? What? Man blinded up by his own teammates' flashbang. That's ridiculous. That is such an insane sequence. So just, just, just to recap that for you, what we just witnessed, uh, Lear is lining up a flash for his B site players to swing stairs, right? That's what he's trying to do. The mid play comes through at the perfect moment to dome him and drop the flashbang out of his hands. And then instead of like turning away and waiting for the flash to bloom, Khan peeks into the flash, eats the flash, gets the headshot of the player he spotted the moment before the flash bloomed, and then rocks in for two more. That is nuts. That's insane. He stands there on phased. That is wild. Yeah, he's gonna have some fun. Risky Bob now with the mop up there. Khan looking for the last. He will. Not find it. Actually, it's Flamish to take it away from him. But a solid defense where the MP9 is the only one that goes down. And he gets three kills, so it's it's kind of your money back. Mm. No it's a beautiful deal. set of bobs. Beautiful. Beautiful. Impeccable. Guns are out, though. Guns are out. Rifles are out. Here's where I'm call get to play. But look at the utility, man. I feel like in Vertigo is a map where the util advantage is so... Uh, I don't even know if it's underrated, but it's just so nice to have as a CT side when you can just pelt, like, the ramp or be stepped with HEs. Stall them out in towards middle. It's an asset, man. Yeah, very execute-heavy map as well. If you want to take map control, you probably got to use a couple smokes. Contacting can be difficult, but that's what they're looking for. A little elevated angle. That molly was so nearly perfectly timed, but they're already past it here. This mid control is going to come out a surprise, or at least it should. It uh, seems like they're oh. so really prepared for this. Khan is clotheslining them on inbound. Two quick kills from this mid defense. They've lost control towards B. They're playing in a tough angle here. Somehow Xanter still defends despite being closed in from multiple different angles. And Crad with bomb has to huddle away. Just Surprise! I mean, he must have thought there was another play on that B site. Or yeah, Didn't maybe someone chances flanking in that from one. A as well. Yeah, you, know, you never know what's That's, around uh, that corner, but that feels like Namiga set a trap, right? They like made this invitation in towards mid. Like, come, 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 get us! We, look at all the space you can get. Look at all the space. And then the crossfire set up. Flamus will clear up the last. That's a massive win. That's a statement win, right? Seemed if you're on call, you're seeing all that space. You're starting to get excited, starting to get excited, and then just the punish. Man, that's brutal. Yeah. Come with a 5-0 start as well. Good to see. Yeah, it is. I mean, talked about the impact last map here. He keeps it up in this one. But yeah, I mean, I, I thought the timing that they hit was perfect. They nailed it. And still, you know, not routing through the, uh, the like construction side, but going towards kind of CT was a bit of a surprise. Either way, they shake it off. Here's that utility that you talked about. Can do a lot of early damage. So far, not too much. Oh, there it is. There's the nade. So I finally cut there. I was waiting for him. They just took their sweet time. And in that sweet patience comes reward. Oh, man. That, there you goes your, your initial Uchi game plan. You, you got to just lick your wounds and walk away. That's one of those rounds where afterwards you look up top and you're like, yeah, I did so much damage off the nades. That's a dar round. That's a, it's a good DPS round. DPS. Let's see. 
If they can capitalize, though. Tech 9 still exploding on a site. I mean, not exactly ideal. Xanter might have missed the timing on this. No, he's good for it. Ooh. On the first, Flashbang blinds him up. It's a little spicy here, but Khan again finding his timing in towards mid. The Molly's late on time? I can't tell. Bomb's going to be planted. Travis knew he had to dodge the HE that might come through, and it is a little late, but it does come through. And they'll keep it. All right. I mean, a bomb plant there, considering the circumstances, not a bad thing at all for Amcall. But the nades are just so punishing, man. The utility usage is nuts out of this uh, Namiga side. Yeah, I mean, I would say just like four, I mean, about 300 damage total that round done with utility alone. So that's, that's like massive. But still not a bad end result for Amcal. They, they managed to scale and get some sort of ground despite not having much to work with here. Now this into another gun round. Here's that extra utility. It's good for the executes. It's good for that map control. It's a cool little smoke lined up there. I'm sure that's landed over towards the ramp side. Maybe a one way of some sort. Give them some chances to fight towards side hall. That's what it looked like. But maybe not a lot of fights given towards that A side here. They, they still want to test this B side. A lot of pressure towards B and middle so far for Amcal, just in general. Looking good here, Xanter overwhelmed on sight, but Lear and Khan rally in in the right moments. This is a ridiculous start for Khan. Down to 2v4, let's see if they can even kill him. I mean, it's 7-0 right now for Khan. Just keeps racking up these kills and the rallies, the rotations. That's the strongest part of Vertigo, both for the C and the T side, right? CT and the T side, you know, the two sides, whatever. I'm going to stop saying things now. It's just the speed of rotation. It's all about predicting and anticipating where your opponents will go, using deception to hide where your footsteps are. And right now, the Amiga are playing the game a lot better than Amka. If we're talking about the rotations, if we're talking about the anticipation, if we're talking about deception as well, thinking back to that round where they drew them in towards mid. It's uh, it's impressively done. The op shots certainly don't hurt either. Oh, gap in that. Oh, there you yeah, go. Con, first death on the board. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Flame is first death on the board as well. Crad, he's doing it. Out of nowhere! 15 seconds. Oh, but he's been wrapped upon. He doesn't expect it. And he's oh, a dead man. man. Nicely done from Lear not to let that slip. That was an unbelievable highlight, even to get to that moment. Three kills there and a bomb plant. I mean, that's still a bit of magic for Crab, but he can't stick the landing. I mean, you can tell Crad's a honorary vertical global by the way he's, he's just chopping up those duels. He knows every little gap in that smoke, every little advantage he can play off of while playing around a smoke uh, as well he just has eyes on all different fronts right there so prepared for what's next but obviously couldn't quite anticipate lear with the flank like that that one's a step too far i mean that output though it's going to save them a lot of worry here could have been another quick and dominant round where like you said the rotations are just stronger from namiga they're just better at this this early round and no matter what you're throwing at them it's not really sticking Right there, that's a statement to be thrown into the mix. That you know, crowd's crowd's got something here. I'm playing some some purchasing behind it. I guess he's still able to bring an op out. So can they make that that damage painful and and a round win? You see, not quite hitting that. Looked, I don't know how to describe that. Almost like drowsy on the crosshair. Yeah, yeah, that's the right word. Just kind of falling asleep there as the swing comes through and also trying to line up your shot. God, that waterfall made is so pretty. I need to learn that. I need to know that, Cole. Look at it. Look at that curtain. Look at that perfect curtain of smoke on the new one.
just obliterates your opponent's FPS as well. It's like a double so a double weapon. Look at this right, four man stack towards A. They're gonna collapse in oh, on this. They've got to be, uh, is, uh, didn't finish his kill. Spray's a little rough, but they're still getting everything. And this is where everybody else comes in. So again, Namiga out calling Amcal here. Right place, right time. Bodies on. Who cares what Travis is gonna do on B? <laughs> nice Molly. Who cares? Well, yeah, we, we just isolated kill on quad, baby. Doesn't matter. They've got the bomb. They can leave him for 25 seconds, try and clock him after time. This is just it's brutal, man. Amiga are are running circles around Amcal right now. Yeah, this is not you. It's just a pretty was, setup right there. I mean, four players converging on ramp within t like. 40 or so seconds left on the round, and e even though it wasn't a great initial start to that collapse, you knew it was going to work out in the end. There's just too many numbers for that to fail. There's another timeout. I mean, you got to figure something out right now, right? You, you got to have some sort of contribution right now. This is, uh, you, you get embarrassed. You're getting embarrassed. Uh, I don't know what, what the read is here, what the problem is here. But I'm caught. They try and go fast. They get caught off. They try and go slow. They get caught off. It's not used to seeing Nickelback stump like this. Actually, who calls on the Namiga side? Uh... I don't know. Do we have that that lore. I don't have that lore available. I will go to my favorite lore source, Liquipedia. That is where you get the news. Liquipedia thinks it's a leer. Huh? So we're gonna treat that as the gospel truth, because I know Martin would never let me down. Martin would never lie. Never lie. He's incapable of it. <laughs> Con just, I mean, just easy pickings right there. That's Why not? That's cool. been their heavy hitter, too. That's been the only player on Amcal who can shoot back, back right now. It's crad. They're watching the boost. They're on it. They're on top. They're on oh everything, man. God. They know. He, 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 on, or he jumped on the head. He on crouched because I mean, that's how you kind of get the fastest fight. Khan got a nice little flick to finish, but... 10 and 1. 10 and 1. Uh, he on crouches. He gets headshot. Uh, his Insta. cross are just waiting. Waiting for that exact Insta. play. Insta. That has to be I mean. devastating. You called a timeout for that round. Or maybe this yeah. one, but you called a timeout before I, last round. I mean, presumably you're talking about this one more than you are the last one, but still, there's nothing worse than coming out of a timeout and just immediately getting smacked. Like, just whomped. You know, all right. That's brutal. That is absolutely brutal. Risky Bob swinging in this time. Okay, here we go. Ramp fight success. It has been a long time since we've had this, but Khan, this is the guy who's been the absolute terror of this server right now. They're trying to flash for the peak. Khan, not even flinching. Had the read, knew he had it, had the comfort. Their molly misses? Did they miss a molly? Do they not have one for him? Ugh. They have one. Throw it. Throw it. It's the only way. Oh, and the HE They did got it. the kill on Khan. <laughs> All right, they got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Ready for the side all peak, but they're not ready for this B-side play. It is going to have to be a retake, and a, finally, MCAL. One of their best-looking chances at a round right here. 2v2. But, Cole, it, it started off Five with a two-man two lead. <laughs> it started off in a 5v3. We're in a 2-1-2 two two retake. Even this is, like, touch and go utility, right now. They have a lot. I mean, HE, Molly, and a Smoke. One the thing you can say is at least this time. Ooh, icy on the angle. Ooh, they spot him. They spot him. Nade's just gonna go out. They're targeted. Oh, that's a dunker. That's a dunker. Molly's a little deep for Travis, but never mind. Travis has dealt with it's all on icy now. And they can just get on this defuse. What can he do? Ooh, better have the shot on. Better have the shot on. He's going in for the block, going in for the knife. Oh, no. oh he's got the blade now. They get the defuse. He even he gets the him. kill. He even gets the kill. He knifes him back to add insult to injury. What in the hell? In his joy and panic, he drops his own gun? I mean... Or did he drop that over? He might have dropped, he dropped <laughs> that I think he tossed that, it over. That, that is still insane. How oh. on earth, even when they get so close, so close to it? 
Oh, that's brutal, man. That is brutal. <laughs> that is they've already burned all of their timeouts. This is their third timeout on the Omcall side. This is and I can't blame them. them. This timeout, it's going to save them. I don't know. This is where they get together. They sit down and say, just simply shoot back. This is where they say, now we try. Now we try. It's the classic. The rally. Need a lot of trying here. The rally cry here. I don't know what could save this team right now from the way these rounds are shaping up. It has to just be miserable to watch these just flow past you. Especially that last one. 5v3 to start it off. It looked a little bit easy on that ramp control. Looks like maybe Namiga were going to get caught a little bit over aggressive. Just a small overextension and a big lead. That happens with teams. But no, they're bailed out by a smoke defuse and even a knife kill to boot. And more frustration compounds here. It, it just, I, it couldn't have started better. It couldn't have started better. Even the fact that it came down to a 2v2 is astonishing. This is just... Look at this mid setup. It's brilliant. Ooh. It's brilliant. Ooh, the drop down. They actually don't predict it, but the second player there, it's almost bait in, and it works out. Even when they mess it up, even when they miss the timing, they still get two kills out of it. Off gets the next. Travis still blanked. Zero and eight now, by the way. And there's just nobody. You got wow. everybody here. Both ops are on the angles. What are you going to do? That timeout did not say they, they're out of timeout. No more pauses. Yeah. They're just playing straight Counter Strike up against a team that is in red hot form. It's like they're the... trying to stop a runaway truck at this point. Oh, it's just a steamroll. This is such a strong map for MKL as well. They just have no idea what to do about all of these setups. They're way too perfect. High, low, and like you said, I mean, even when it's kind of discombobulated just at the worst time and they start to shift away, it, it doesn't matter. It still ends up working. They, they manage to make magic happen in every round here. Four spies. I mean, probably for the remainder of the half, but Hunter does... Travis! Got his first kill. Open this up into a 5v4. He's on Travis it. has broken the curse. And another. Another? He's got the B-side himself. Oh, but they lost fights on Certainly. A. They can't escape. They're stuck. They're still sticking around. They're still sticking around. Oh, no. He has to get out you with bomb. You can't lose here. You can't lose here. They know the chase. He's here. Oh, the nade pop. He got out. Yeah, Risky Bob can't quite catch it. Okay. Heroics aren't in vain. This Travis is has a chance to do something wild here. Oh, on, HP on 14. Timing. Timing is everything. No way! Uh-oh. 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 Icy in the clutch with a scout. With a scout. With a damn scout. Surely he can get an upgrade. Surely there's here. an upgrade here for him. Well, that's debatably an upgrade. I think he heard the drop of the, the gun as well, so that's info. Khan is hunting quickly, but he's alone. He oh, lands he the him. dink. Knife is out for Risky Bob. He's taking a risk here, trying to chase things down. The flash does oh, nothing. No. He peeks before it. And they will keep the flawless streak alive here. Risky Bob to close it out. I just, just nothing. Nothing can work out for Amkal. They're always looking the wrong way. They're always getting tied. That time, I mean, we finally have Travis breaking the, breaking the streak. Getting two kills. Double entry. Claims the B-side himself. And they just can't get out of the a fights. They can't bail. They can't escape. Actually unbelievable what's happening here. Unbelievable. How much Namiga are dominating Amkal. It's a flawless half possible. But the way they're playing, it feels like it. Feels like nothing can go wrong. So little resources this round thrown towards the A side and reinforcements towards middle and B. Again, having the right resources right where they need to be to succeed. There's a collapse coming through, but already a, a little opening pick there. I think go over towards the B side, make it quick 4v5. Reclaiming control of the ramp side is the next goal here. And just slim pickings for Khan. He's going to go for a fight. What is he waiting for? He's just back turned. That's so insane. Oh, Nickelback's toast. There he is. Oh, they're going to go for this B hit. Still has a Molly. Center on the other side. You're right. The Molly could just end it. They do have two smokes. So they could theoretically smoke through the first Molly. Ooh, preemptive smoke. 
Molly behind it. Look at this damage now. Sections them off. That's a bold play from Crowd. I can't believe he gets away with that one. On the jump. Are there any HEs -E for the retake? There are from Flame. Is the <laughs> lineup? Needed. Who needs it? What? Unreasonable. Unreasonable. Crowd, there should be no way. Not with 20 seconds. Not with the health that he's got. This would be astounding. And instead, we will not be astounded. We will be disappointed if you're an Amcal fan because Namiga are rolling to this dub. This feels just inevitable. Yeah, I mean, no question about it here. A statement being made as well. Not only doing this in what could be flawless fashion here, but on their opponent's map pick, a map pick that Amcal is strong on that they haven't lost on in this year so far. I mean, I don't know what's gotten into this Namiga squad here, but they're not, not letting off the gas. Finally a miss, but it's not punished. Khan manages to escape the grasp there. Still hanging in there. In fact, hungry to stick around. This boost, though, could be good. Oh, out of the scope. And not going to flick that one. That feels like maybe the first point this map where I'm calling manager to catch somebody looking the wrong way. Like, they've had to do everything the hard way. I see, though. We'll follow it up. Now they gain oh, this space, and go. it looks like Amcal might just be breaking this goose egg. Finally. Sonatir and Flame is trying something cheeky here. Get the first. It's not over till it's over. And if they're on the right side of the map. Oh, the rundown kill finally does come through for Goofy. Or I see, rather. And it's Forrester instead to get a frag in. Finally, Amcal are on the board.
Well, this one could all be over soon. It's quite literally a do or die pistol here for Amcal. They need this desperately. Set in a traffic cone yeah, down that, towards the opponents. That doesn't hurt, unfortunately. It should, honestly. <laughs> do it do like two damage or something. Give me yeah. No no no. Here's what it does. It doesn't it doesn't hurt, but it'll if you, you land it perfectly on your opponent's head, it sticks on their head for the rest of the round and shows you where they are. So they can't like sneak in headshot angles. Volvo, I know you've got slightly more important things to do most of the time, but uh, if you could add that one in real quick, that'd be chill. I'd like it. Up ramp here though, fighting back. Brute force effort up ramp. But does it look like that's where they want to finish? Not quite. Readjusting an icy off the back of this flash setup here is probably just gonna gather that info, saying, "Hey, it's it's clear. Let's uh let's start to shift things up a little bit. Get back over towards that B bomb site, which is where they need to be." No commitment just yet from Namiga, though. Not yet. This is so slow for a pistol. I think they're going to fake an execute over towards the B side here. End it towards A. Santer going to be forward here. Travis, first point of contact. Spotted out quickly, but oh, just dismisses Santer with ease and then calls the bluff here. Look at the rotation off that. Oh. They're bailing. They're in towards A. They've got all the space, but they never cleared out side hall, and they're being punished for it. Completely dismissed in this one, and nothing doing for an Amiga. I'm calling full control of that pistol round. And now we get a chance at for a map. Here we go. Here's the mental battle. <laughs> Do we see a collapse mentally? Do we see a team that uh, swipes that from the memory and holds strong? And I mean, that, that has to be a rally point for Amcal. You know, nice pistol. You got Icy landed some sharp shots with the USB, looking very clean. Maybe that can inspire a little bit of confidence here. Just a little bit of something to light the match. Khan's trying to grab something from that smoke, and he ain't finding it. I hope he didn't throw his pistol far. Oh, it might be a knife round for Khan. I'd have been off the map. He oh, so I can't confident. find it. Oh, there it is. He can't, he's, I think that's just back to his clock. There must have been a deep down. He can't get it. Oh, poor guy. I'm all about in the smoke. This SMG should chew them up if they get up the steps. Double dink on the Travis. Double dink on. But the SMG's there. They're never going to get to Travis. Some money made for Mr. Crad. And this con has got no horde. Soon. I'll have no life either. Eliminated, exterminated in that one. I'm call keep it clean as well. But here come the rifles and here comes the fun. Here we go. One measly round there in the last of the half. And then a second and a third. And then bam. Right back into this game. But it is, uh, it's got to come through with this gun round here. Bonus. MP9s are still held on to, so a little bit of risk taking from MCAL still. Even with not a lot of runaway here. You know, one mistake and be over. Nice down ramp. Look at the smokes right now trying to create gaps and advantages in these duels here. The smokes continue to be recycled. Anything to try and find an opening duel here, but Namiga are not giving it to them. Just hiding behind the safety of these walls for now. Finally catching some utility damage, but no spam. Next towards B here. Already up Xanther. Oh, but he doesn't last long. This individual effort's already shut down. Same as the pistol there with, with very little ground to be gained. It's good to see Trav having some success early on here, right? It was such a rough first half for him. And he's a player that we normally expect big things from. So it's been good to see a little bit more joy. It's 
Still a lot of threat in this round, but it's a good setup for them. Three players right here. They're ready for this. On the call, can they connect? Here comes the execute. Nick go back. We're in a contact here. Oh, that risky bomb is ready for it. I was going to say, it looked like a tough angle for him. This should be a bomb plant. Counter nades, not there. CT side does not have retake nades. This in a four on four with full ramp control on the other side. This is tough. No smokes. No nades, no mollies. There's kits at least and flashbang to get back around, but... Well, the flashbang just got ripped for very little gain. AG towards side all. Oh, I see if it lands a quick kill, but there's that response reaction. Flamus holds the line towards side hall, and they're not given any duels here. Travis the taps the bomb, but he does pick up the kit. Luckily, it doesn't matter. It's not going to save him. Icy is also going to uh, likely go down to the ship unless he gets out of elevator. There you go. He does run away. Wow. But Amiga have gathered themselves maps in series point. Looking to find themselves into the final here to, to get one best of, to get where we talked about one best of three away from qualifying to I am Chengdu. That that'd be incredible for this team. Honestly, astonishing. I mean, what's astonishing is just how dominant they've been in this in this series. They were strong in the first map, and I mean here on Vertigo, they left no question. Right, the guns come out for the first time, and they just immediately find map point. Now they get nine chances here, nine cracks, and moving on into that grand final. And uh, with the way they've been playing, I'm not sure they need more than one. They have looked far and away the better team. Which coming into this. Just the respect that we have for the players on Omicol, what they've been able to do on previous rosters. I would not have expected this in the slightest. How does Travis not win that duel? Thought he had him dead to rice, but he can't connect the final bullet. And now it's big trouble on for Icy. Man just sliding into the position. They might have overlooked it, but they're losing his teammates. And Icy is immediately traded out. So a 4v2 to try and survive here for Amkal. The bomb is going to go down. The numbers will be punched in. There's still a mid lurk on. And oh, he's oh. going to hard that. You oh. can't get anything. Okay. Got timing. Oh, doesn't matter. Come on to put it to bed right there. It is an easy second map. Coasting to the finals there. And I mean, again, putting themselves only at best of three off of qualifying this is incredible for this team astonishing astonishing let's heap some praise on khan again he impresses in the first map but holy cow he was a level above on a